Hi. Tech Rabbit here again. Uh, continuing this um, mini series, Sony VR unboxing and setup. And um, next thing to look at is something that's overlooked quite often, but is important. And that is to make sure you have enough storage. So uh, I invested in a in uh, one of these external uh, hard drives that are supposed to be for the PlayStation 4. Of course, you can pretty much use any hard drive, but this should be um, certified for PlayStation use. Whatever that means. So we're going to unbox this and connect it and then just show what it looks like when it's connected if there's anything we can see on the PlayStation side at least just to confirm that it, that it exists. Anybody thought about making consumer friendly packaging so I don't have to actually rip the whole package to bits together? Oh, I give up. Now we're going to tear it apart. Plastic, so it looks pretty much like a generic. Well, it is probably is a generic external USB hard drive. So. Then you pay a little bit extra. Well, it wasn't that much more expensive than what you would usually pay for that amount of storage space anyway. So maybe I pay a little bit extra for the brand. is actually disappearing slowly so no USB-C but then it does have the adapter cable from USB 3 to yeah, USB-A basically which is the USB 3.0 to connect for the PlayStation and um, I'll just pause here and come back when I actually know where they want it installed. Okay now I've um, got it configured so you um, insert it on the front panel where there's the two USB ports and that will be on if it's sitting flat then that's on the left hand side and the instructions are a bit misleading, but they actually show it like that. The unit looking like that, and of course the unit doesn't look like that, even if it says this is a 4 PlayStation 4. I don't know why they got the graphics. And um, they recommend, for some odd reason, to do this. So have 10 centimeters. Um, no between the PlayStation and the hard drive. Hmm. 
Okay, now I got the PlayStation up and running with capture card. And now they recommend that one should actually Let's see if I can show it here. Which you should go format it. And it actually did pop up with a message that I didn't capture where it says that the external storage device was incompatible with with the PlayStation. So that's probably why they say you have to go. So okay, so let's go um personal information here, but that's life. I think it's important to show. So now we need to go to the system menu, which is here. Whoops. And that was USB. This happens sometimes that it loses the link to more. No, not what? No, back. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> so much for being a professional navigator. Uh, let's see. Oh, I wish it wouldn't just continue losing the video feed from the PlayStation. It seems to be doing it a lot now. Yes, there was more stable. Okay, so we do go in here. And then there should be something called device. Is it that one then? No, oh, there it is. Devices. Oh, so that one. And then Okay, this is USB storage devices. Okay. He has to game drive. So that should be the one. I do have a rather long um, HDMI cable connected, to this, so that might actually be something. But I have like five meters, and it's actually being coiled through a ah, not not very well rooted. So I'm going to blame that for now. I think we won't put it put a very shorter one in the work better. Okay, and then okay, format is extended. Comes to that next time. So, okay. I want to continue. Yes. Yeah. I should disconnect the device. So, oh, that was quick. Oh, no. <coughs> oh, you shouldn't run out of storage space. Here, we can look at storage. What do we have here? We have um, how does one read this? Okay, just two partitions, so it's nearly a, a terabyte on the system side and then we have the two terabyte drive there approximately as always you lose stuff when you format. Okay. Okay, so that's total capacity, right? So then it's used up. Ah, uh, you see, it just disappears, you know. <laughs> okay, then it has this application install location. So maybe in the Xbox you had to move um, games and stuff over to the external storage where I set up a preferred. But I, we can look into that when I start installing games because I have to install some games. Okay, so that was not like that now to, um, I, I recommend uh, um, getting additional storage because it's like Christmas is coming and stuff and then, you know, the kids want to have games and stuff and then it really would be kind of, like, really the, um, 
won't be so popular if the garden still is stuck, we run out of this space. Anyway, if you um, like this one, consider subscribing and press the um, bell icon like I recommended because there's going to be more content on this mini series. So, um, see you in the next one.